Hey, Westy here. Just finishing off a session here at Maroon Dam. Doing a lot of jerk baiting this morning. So watch the video. Hope you enjoy it, guys, because I had a blast of a morning. Stay tuned and watch how much fun I had. Perfect weather for jerk baiting. Nice cool day. I think it's going to be a top of 23. Overcast conditions. Chance of a bit of rain or a shower. Very low winds. Just enough to put a ripple on. Perfect conditions for jerk baiting. Love it. This one, yeah, it's a better fish. Nice, some more lockers here. Nice, 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 nice. He's absolutely choked it. He's choked his head first. Let's see if I can hold him up. Get this bike. Have a look at that. Head first. That's awesome. It's <laughs> got another little bass here. Jerk baiting away this morning. Oh, it's got a yellow too. Oh, like a... oh yeah. Nice little one there. Put him back. Guys, it's Westy here. Just wrapping up a bit of a session here out at Maroon. I just want to share a bit of an experience that I've had. I'm new to a product from Diver called Saltiga 12X Braid. It's very thin and very strong for its diameter and it seems to be working really well this morning for me. Thin diameters, cutting through the weed and lily pads, being able to get the fish out. But the biggest thing I've noticed is the line indicators on the line. So the line indicators measure out a certain particular distance along your line. But what that is doing helping me this morning is as I'm jerk baiting and my lure is suspended under slack line, those little line indicators obviously are a different color to the line. But every time I get a bite or a fish hits my lure and, and it just moves my line that little bit, my eye is attracted to those indicators. So I never really thought about it before, but I've just tuned into it after I was getting a few fish and just sat there and watched and those indicators 
helped because I could strike. I know I've got a bite, fish has got it, I pull it, and there's a fish on the other end. So just something to think about next time you're fishing. If you're fishing lures with slack line, um, especially jerk baits, maybe look at a line that's got indicators on it. Just a thought. Just thought I'd share my experience with you guys this morning. Thank you. Out. <laughs> oh dear. It's got blown away. That's why you should retie more often. Oh man, fuck this just got right at. Seen that, seen that. <laughs> that was cool. Oh wow, seen one come behind it. Didn't want it. And then I seen this one just eat it. Sit there, and then it must have seen me or realized it's got a hook in its mouth and then just took off. That was really cool. Really cool. <sighs> Wow, that, yeah, that was, yeah man, that was something else. Nice. Come on, sit there. Nice little bass. Oh yeah, that's a bass. Where's he going? Oh, he's got me buried. Oh. Seesaw, seesaw. <laughs> yeah, another one. Fucking skinny. Cool.
Hey guys, it's West here, just wrapping up a quick session here this morning at Maroon Dam and throwing the jerk back, the double clutch 60. Absolutely loving it this morning. A lot of Spanglies, a lot of bass. It's just been good fun. Just thought I'd go through the combo that I've been using this morning. So it's the Commander range and it is a 681 light and it's paired up with the 24 Certate in the 2000 Finesse Custom and it's spilled with Saltiga. Uh, 12 times braid. I love this braid. It's very thin and strong and that's exactly what I want in the weed I want it to be thin but strong so I can cut through the weed or the lily pads and I can get the fish out and what I've got on the end What I've got tied to the lure itself is X-Link fluorocarbon in 8 pound Just a really nice combo been fishing it all morning. It's just so easy It casts these little things really great and it's got enough flex in the rod to work your bait but also enough backbone to get them out of the vegetation. So next time you're in your tackle shop, get your hands on the double clutch this winter and get out and have a go. Catch you later.